I am Dr. Giridhar. I am a, a MD graduate from All India Institute of Medical Sciences. And presently, I'm doing my PhD in epidemiology and uh, community medicine. In terms of uh, what everyone is actually facing these days uh, is the COVID-19 pandemic. COVID-19 is a virus and uh, viral uh, infections tend to be something which keep evolving with time. And hence, uh, you know, the entire global community, be it in the research or in the clinical settings, are learning uh, daily. Personally, being a doctor, I think it's my moral duty to uh, ensure that uh, you get the right information and uh, the right guidances because it's a big ocean. Uh, even for a researcher like me and uh, who is also you know, looking into clinical data and clinical uh, parameters for patients in COVID, it's a challenge because uh, what we learn today, it just gets updated uh, tomorrow and day after. COVID-19 is a disease wherein something which is pretty new. It is something definitely like an influenza or any other uh, respiratory infection, uh, which normally spreads through, you know, air droplets or cough droplets. However, there is a catch. This infection is supposed to be, you know, having a median incubation period of somewhere between five to seven days. Uh, I mean, incubation period wherein the virus enters your body, starts multiplying, and then it starts showing its symptoms. So that's somewhere between five to seven days from the global data. However, the challenge is that the manifestation of symptoms totally depends upon an individual's immunity. You now, this virus has got different faces, uh, different personalities. Uh, one personality is extremely virulent. Uh, even if you get one small, uh, in, uh, you know, droplet of this extremely virulent, you may turn out into an ICU or you need to get ventilated. Uh, that's how it is and then some strains or some types of this particular uh, virus they are actually very less virulent and they don't cause very major disease uh, it just comes into your body you may just have to worry about your uh, headache or some fever or some uh, body pain and malaise in this uh, epidemic there is a multiple spectrum of the disease presentation uh, be it in the mild wherein uh, People just show some simple fever, headache and something and be it in the extreme wherein people need ICU support because of respiratory distress and respiratory failure. Over and above this clinical presentation among people uh, who are symptomatic, there is also a very big chunk right now whom we call as asymptomatics. Asymptomatic people are those uh, in whom the virus gets inside, but it never really uh, causes any problem to the individual. However, the individual can spread this infection to his near and dear ones. Hence, asymptomatics are someone, uh, you know, pretty challenging, not just for a clinician to uh, diagnose, but even as a public policy for governments to really control this pandemic, it's the asymptomatic people who really drive this epidemic and getting it out of proportions. Personally, from your side, in terms of, uh, you know, keeping yourself protected, I mean, there's so many things in the market. I mean, you know, you know what it could be supplements, vitamin C, zinc, Ayurveda, homeopathy, this, that. There's a number of things. I mean, there's really, uh, you know, no exact literature to support. But however, a good immunity is something wherein, you know, it's a very uh, unmeasurable component because immunity is a, f a factor which not just comes with your uh, eating supplements it also depends upon your body composition your genetics and so many other factors so long story short you could just keep some really good diet have some uh, you know good vitamin c rich foods uh, each food as much as possible prepared from home please avoid outside uh, you know restaurant made foods and all that and uh, in terms of tablets or anything that you really need to take i would strongly recommend no there are so many things coming in the social media and that's the reason why i'm sitting here maybe you would have come across some two three messages or some posts wherein uh, there are claims that dexamethasone uh, hydroxychloroquine and then you have this uh, fabi flu from uh, glenmark which is about to be launched in days to come now, before you really get into these kind of drugs, uh, you need to understand some two, three processes. These drugs are actually licensed by DCGI, which is the Director Control General of India, and they're licensed for clinical use. Clinical use meaning in hospital settings. It's not for the public. It's not any kind of a drug wherein you take it and then you start really negating your uh, social distancing norms, negating your mask hygiene, hand hygiene, and stuff like that. So you need to understand that these drugs are meant for uh, clinicians to use it's not over the counter dexamethasone per se is a very potent uh, steroid uh, you know what i mean if anybody has got any blood sugar issues it can actually shoot it up 
so please really don't uh, take these kind of tablets without any clinicians at coming to the fabi flu uh, which is uh, favipiravir tested by glenmark this is a drug which is you know one of the uh, leading drugs in terms of uh, treatment and claims uh, you know 88% recovery again it is only for a selected set of patients because trials whenever they approve a drug uh, they choose some very strict criteria as to what set of patients need to take these kind of drugs so to just keep it very short and simple uh, these drugs are not for people who have uh, liver and kidney issues because the drug will lead to toxicity because it does not get excreted from your body it can get accumulated in your body and it can cause liver failure it can cause bone marrow suppression and you name what i mean it can just cause complications so the ideal point and the you know the short and sweet message i just really want to tell you is uh, before you really go for any drug any drug kindly check with your uh, you know clinician or any family physician or a general physician whoever is in touch with you whoever is practicing near your place before you take these tablets because so much of, of uh, side effects which you really don't have idea uh, media does you know you know propagate the information however the side effect profile of these drugs are not well mentioned to name one really major side effect maybe pregnant women might think if i take these kind of drugs my child and myself could be safe and free but kindly ensure that you know these tablets are also potent teratogens teratogens meaning they can actually harm your child and uh, steroids and you know favipravir for hydroxychloroquine as well so you need to be very cautious before you really take one dose of it coming to what options do you really have in terms of drugs and vaccines and all that so drugs per se as i said unless until you are really not tested positive you don't really have to do anything however in terms of vaccines right now uh, there is a huge uh, you know surge in uh, candidate vaccines across the world from what i have seen in the last uh, you know couple of days uh, from my updates there are around 194 candidate vaccines and uh, the leading one is something which is uh, led by university of oxford it's one candidate vaccine which is presently uh, entered into phase 3 so if things really go well maybe this phase 3 vaccine you know it could be expedited for mass use in the population and uh, it might really be protective too but we really don't have answers right now because once the clinical data comes out a vaccine that really performs well in uh, laboratory settings it need not really perform that well in the you know the population level so you need to be very careful necessary research is definitely happening globally one simple set of uh, you know advices from my side to you guys is that uh, ensure that you just keep your mind positive really don't have to flood your mind and flood you know the tv with all the news that is happening around spend some good quality time with your family uh pray that's it so the more that you keep yourself positive you can be less assured that you really don't have to worry about it because uh, more than the covid pandemic per se i think it has actually affected and created more of mental uh, issues and worries and unnecessary uh, you know thought processes inside a human being so it's more important to ensure that you guys are you know keeping yourself positive that's most important because uh that is the one that really keeps you going because there is no point in keeping yourself depressed or keeping yourself in a state of mind wherein you find yourself hopeless or you start complaining things happening around you and then there's never ending you know vicious circle uh so just to wrap up things before i just end up please don't follow whatever is being put in the media just for the sake of it uh you don't have to experiment yourself with all these kind of drugs that are getting approved because these are only for covid positive patients and uh, they have to be given only with the proper prescription use it's not for general population at all last but not the least kindly follow whatever your uh, local and state governments have been prescribing for uh, you uh, you know in terms of social distancing usage of masks hand hygiene etc and ensure that you keep a very good positive frame of mind uh with that i would also like to wrap up with uh, our team which is uh, icart which is the indian covid apex research team uh we are a group of you know doctors engineers data scientists a lot of the, you know tech sav people from you know the harvard microsoft and all you know you name it so we are a diverse group of uh, different uh, skills and uh, we ensure that we keep the cutting edge research and cutting edge information you can follow us at covidtoday.in and we are also in active in twitter wherein we try to analyze and try to understand what are the 
recent updates and whether it is really good or really not right for the society and we try to push the right uh, relevant research papers uh, so that the policy makers are able to you know keep themselves aware as to what would have to be the right steps to curb this pandemic so with that uh, i would actually like to acknowledge the help of all my teammates uh, in icart and the website team in uh, covid today uh, there is dr mohak he is an aims student there is aditi she is an aims student uh there is dev balaji he is a tech guy there is uh, siddharth who is an engineer there is uh, you know pratik and so many i mean if i have missed anyone's name i uh, you shouldn't actually think that you know uh they have contributed more or something like that because all of us work together 24/7 to ensure that india is fighting this uh, the best possible way with the scientific evidence and the right measures so with that i'm done thanks For more health related videos like share and subscribe to Hello Healthy